wake up. We have to do data recovery from surface, from Microsoft surface. Hi guys, how are you? It's Chris again, guy with a uh, perfect English and fucked up beard. Uh, with fucked up English and a really good beard. So today I want to show you something different. Today I want to talk with you about the Microsoft Surface. The thing looks like that because someone dropped that thing but it was working before like customers said it was working without the, uh, the touch works everything was fine um, but after some time it wasn't turning on for him uh, so he was getting only the uh, Windows logo and nothing else. But the main issue is the SSD. The SSD is soldered into the main board. Uh, this is NVMe drive and the funnest part is sometimes uh, when the um, OS is corrupted or the first sector of MBR um, or GPT or uh, files, file system tree, um, then you can't turn that device on. Let me show you how it looks like. So, yeah, we are getting an, uh, an logo and that's it. The funnest part is with those devices, you can't boot it from uh, external external drive like flash drive or whatever. Also, you can't go into the BIOS. There is a shortcut. You have to do some combination with the buttons and then you should be able to go into the BIOS, change the, you know, the device order, the boot devices over order, and you should be able to boot from the different drive. Not in this case. So nothing works here. You can... I was losing my mind with the first one. It was a few years ago where uh, we got this and really I was losing my mind with this device. So I took the screen uh, out yesterday to make it sure because I want to show you this thing so I didn't want to messing with the screen. Let me turn it off. So first we have to take the screen out. Done. Like you can see here, this is this part, it's a drive. This is an NVMe drive. So the fastest way to do that, it's solder. Um, it's pull out the chip out from the board and uh, uh, put into our reader and then pull out the data if we are lucky of course I use uh, actually I'm using my um, other gun on my left side so in Lewis's office is on the right side, so right now I have to do everything with my left hand. Right now I'm using uh, not the full, um, I'm using 500 degrees and 70 liters because I don't want to overheat it. A few days ago there was a lady which uh, she had a, a yoga actually with this almost the same issue. Those chips get really hot. So she had an issue like it was turning on for her but only for some time. She was getting an error saying that SSD is not there. I, I opened the device and when I pressed the SSD chip into the board, done, fixed. So really you have to, actually she was lucky because she had everything backed up. So we didn't have to recover her data. You know, it depends, what do you need? If you need something fast, 
maybe no not fast if you need something thin like really thin then okay go for it buy those things but if you don't need uh, thin devices then you have to consider because uh, in my opinion I prefer to have devices with the SSDs separate like you know in the slot then I can replace the SSD for a different one with the different OS or something here you don't have that chance so this is the SSD SSD looks like that and imagine you have really important data on it and it failed of course Microsoft they don't allow you to boot Linux for example and pull out your data because I'm I'm pretty sure Linux would take data easily from it okay so right now we have to go to my desk I'm gonna show you a few things we have to clean the chip I'm gonna put leaded solder on it and we will see the results in PC3K Hello. Guys, you saw it so many times how to put new solder on the chip so you don't have to see it from the microscope. I have to find my favorite tweezers. I'm not touching the chip itself. I'm just using the tip and the solder and the solder blob on it like a brush I'm cleaning this very well because I'm really lazy so I prefer clean the NAND than cleaning the adapter So the chip is really nice, uh, focus, 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 come on, like, uh, you have to trust me, I have all of the pads there, everything is fine, so right now we have to take the magic thing. This is my babies. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of nice things here. So, flash extractor, the adapters for it, Rosolut thing, and this guy. Let's see if we gonna get an ID. So the whole thing is really easy. Here you have a first pin. We have to match that dot. And done. Okay, so our SSD is in the reader right now. We're gonna um, check if it's work. I'm gonna show you what the steps are. My wife took that picture actually 10 years ago um, when I was young, um, handsome, and that's it. Okay, 
Um, let's go. Uh, so let's check what our chip does. First is first steps for me as I'm always checking if we have a response from the chip. What's the type of the uh, SSD is? Yeah, this is NVMe. Let's go. So this SSD is not supported by PC3K software, but we can work on these with the universal utility. So the right now the, the most important part is ID. So I see the uh, drive uh, respond correctly. Let's see if we are getting an ID. Yeah, we have an ID, we have a capacity. So everything should be fine with the drive, but let's go and check if we have access to the data, to the sectors. So first sector, yeah, we can read it. Second, third one. Okay, next one, next one. Perfect, last one. And a few sectors before. Nice, we have access to it. So let's go to the data extractor. So the next step is we have to uh, we got an NID in uh, data extractor, and let next step is um, because the drive is encrypted. So I have a recovery key on the other screen. Let me copy that thing, and uh, everything. Oh almost every single surface pro is uh, the data on the ssd is encrypted by the bead locker so the customer um gave gave us that then uh, recovery key and right now we can check if it works so nice we are getting these yeah so we want to decrypt the data we have a recovery key okay okay yeah data is encrypted and come on yeah perfect oh i think i think sana is losing his teeth now <laughs> okay let's go back let's uh, do the map of the used sectors this is in, we have it. Right now we have to create a submap using the drive info. Done. And we can make a copy of those chains. So here we have a change of the data which we selected before and make a copy of it. Let's see how, it yeah, the drive is not so slow and not so fast. We should read what's up sunny you have all of the thieves yeah you do. <laughs> okay yeah so <laughs> like you see right now the there is a little bit slower um area on the drive but we are getting still um good um good data because all of this is green let's see our statistics what's that oh much better uh, so uh, the data is uh, I'm making a clone there uh, coming back to div that device what we can say about that uh, I saw everything here I saw banded boards I saw burned uh, CPUs burned uh, SSDs hole inside of it uh one was uh under the car the car smashed it 
I don't know how I didn't want to ask about that story. Yeah, but those those uh, it's a really perfect uh, example for that what I wouldn't buy it never never so this is actually the end of the video because I was messing with the, the uh, chip a lot um, it's really late so uh, I didn't have it on camera but uh, I was able to read everything like you can see all of those uh, sectors are uh, green um, I actually I did a copy of the whole drive I made a clone of the whole drive this is the file tree uh, the data works uh, I'm not gonna show you the user, user folder but this is a, a regular Windows folder so yeah everything is working now and uh, yeah actually I picked up the empty folder uh, so um, this is the best example for it you should have an access to uh, run the different OS on your device uh, you should able to uh, boot the, mm, from the external drive and it's gonna be much easier than the data recovery like in that way you can hit a lot of issues it can be bad areas it can be the dying uh, NAND it's you have to use heat sometimes heat but most likely you have to freeze the chip um, and you have to mess with it you have to be careful because you don't want to lose the customer's data always like I said before check everything twice and you know you have to you have to be patient you have to be patient for my English guys so like, uh, like always I hope you learned something this is the end so thank you for today